Sabaydi. This is Arun from Luang Prabang in Laos. And today I'm going to introduce you to our beautiful butterfly pea that we have in Laos uh, and in whole Southeast Asia. Uh, for some it's nothing special, but for others it's magical and absolutely new. And I would show you while I tell you a little bit more about the butterfly pea what you can all do with this it's really magical so first of all the benefits of the uh, butterfly pea is that it's anti-inflammatory it makes your skin glow and it supports your hair growth it fights cancer and uh, regulates your blood sugar and lowers your blood pressure it even eases your insomnia many incredible benefits that you can also look up in the internet and now i'm going to show you uh, one of my favorite drinks with the butterfly peas and that is just uh, butterfly tea butterfly pea tea with uh, a pinch of lemon or orange and because it's orange season I decided to use some orange so and then you will see what will happen when I put the butterfly pea in hot water so I'm going to pick up one here I take a, this one up here See, isn't that a beautiful color? Deep blue. So beautiful. I wonder why it's called Clitoria Tenetia. So I will put this in a glass. And I have already prepared hot water. So I will pour hot water in this glass and then you will see what happens after a couple of minutes. Maybe I put another butterfly pea in it. I have enough because it's the season and every day they grow. It's so beautiful. Like natural earrings. Put one in. So I you see, it already gets a little bit blue. And while it, while the water, while the in, uh, calite water is mixing with uh, uh, the butterfly, it will change the color. And when I cut an orange and pour orange in it, you will see what will happen. So these oranges are from the countryside. Very delicious. Very succulent, sweet. See, you see the water? That's how succulent it is. It has a lot of seeds, but it's worth peeling, pulling, peeling it out, or when you have a pressure presser presser you can make it in a presser but I will just make a little pinch in it so you will see what happens Ooh, maybe I can make a decoration as well because I love decoration and I love it when my drinks looks beautiful so you see it's already blue isn't that fascinating yeah. So I think it's enough blue to squeeze some orange in it and see what will happen. It turns purple. Fascinating, isn't it? It's magic. Mm, 
already smells super floral, fresh. Maybe I decorate it with a slice of orange. Looks <laughs> nicely, doesn't it? And because I also have kiwis from the northern Laos, here's a long one, and here is a round little kiwi. Actually, they are called Chinese gooseberries, but in the early 90s, um, missionaries discovered it and brought it into New Zealand, and they marketed as sesame and that's how it became the kiwi also because the color of the kiwi looks like the national bird of New Zealand the kiwi bird I will cut uh, one long kiwi in half for you to see how it looks like inside em emerald green also very succulent I've eaten one before, it was quite sour, like an unripe kiwi. Uh, I will taste this one, it's already been laying a while, maybe it's already ripe. Let me check. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not ripe yet. You see, I can eat the kiwi with the skin because it's, it has no hair and it's so small almost like a little apple the skin of a little apple or skin of a hairless kiwi let me use it as a decoration as well because it's too sour for me right now beautiful isn't it And because I make bamboo straws, I will of course drink it with a environmental friendly alternative to the plastic straws. But because I didn't uh, wash my bamboo straw, I decided to use I decided to use a reed straw that we also have here in Laos. It's also very beautiful. You use it one time and you can just throw it away. I'm sitting on straw, by the way, but this is sweet. Or oh, this is sweet too, I'm sitting on wheat. So, here you go, look. Cheers from Laos with Love. You are Arun. Yummy. Oh. The katsura fruits, the katsura heteroclita, klita, that's strange, the butterfly piece is the clitoria tenetia, and this is the katsura heteroclita, I wonder if it's related, kind of, the word klit, klita. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my video and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.